I have never vlogged like this before. When I woke up, I had a can of beans with Tina and now the rest. We have a cup of fruit juice. Then I had a cup of chamomile tea with an albuterol. And then I'm doing a CPAP with my body heater on my chest. I have never tried speaking with this on. The matter to speak against the pressure being put into your lungs, I sound a very British and I'm honestly not trying to do that. This is just how you speak when you're wearing a CPAP. I guess I'm trying to announce it as well as I can as well. Anyway. Today has been going as well as I could make it. Feeding himself. Drinking some teas and coffees, all of a decaf. I have hold on, sorry. I've come to a conclusion which I think is reasonable that is causing my I'm really oh. I'm sorry I had to, sorry, I had to show you out all of that because it isn't pleasant to look at. It is unpleasant to hear. However, I wanted to, by incident, make sure I convey the reality of what's going on with me right now. I'm learning I don't complain enough. I've been sick for longer than anyone knows. Because I didn't... I didn't realize I was suffering internally, so no one around me knew how bad it was. Maybe even you didn't know how bad this was. Maybe you just think everyone talks and breathes at, at, at different intervals. So what's happened specifically would have concluded. is that I'm out of albuterol, which is true. Albuterol is an inhaled medication for CF patients that thins the mucus. I've been going a while without doing that. It appears as though the mucus in my lungs has thickened. And the coughing is so dominant, dominant and so severe that it wakes me up at night and I'm not getting enough sleep. I am sleep deprived. It seems as though I have been for quite some time, but I haven't been complaining about it enough. I'm sleep de deprived specifically in that I'm not sleeping properly. Pardon me. While it's true I can sleep for up to 12 hours, the type of sleep I'm getting does not provi provide me with energy. So I am sleep deprived by probably a few days. This cough also persists when I'm awake and exhausts me at all times. I've especially noticed that my abdominal muscles are so used up 
are so tired. I slump around like Quasimodo with my feet, with my head in front of my feet because I'm just, uh, and my head hanging down the wall all the time because the muscles in my neck are exhausted. It's giving me bad posture and that bad posture itself makes it difficult for me to breathe. What I need to remember to do at all times is to keep my back straight, my abdomen engaged in keeping my upper body supported. Keep my head up to a degree so that my chin is theoretically parallel with the ground. So that I can breathe easier and get dizzy, lightheaded, tunnel vision. So, I'm I have ordered my medications to be taken to the local place, the pharmacy, and <clears throat> by the time I get that, by the time I get that, no, when I get that, that's what I meant to say, my health will go up like a flower, yay! <laughs> You know, if you've been watching, for those of you new, I'm drained of energy. I was going to make a comparison. I drew a blank. I was going to say something like, I have much as, as much energy as the moon. It doesn't really make sense. The sun has a lot of energy. It burns. Moon's just our dead rock. No energy. It has kinetic energy. It wouldn't have worked. Anyway. Uh, sorry for all the pauses, but... And I never edited anything out. <clears throat> I've never cut any footage at all. It's all in or it's all out, so. So pardon me for being incapable of speaking. But, I do want to present some good news. So this has been going on for a while, as you may have noticed. You saw me using a CPAP machine earlier today, that is. <laughs> that device was not designated for me, but it's being it is being extraordinarily useful. I have been doing a butyrol and pulmazyme. I beat her all about four times a day and hypertonic saline about twice. So first, two good things. When I did CPAP the other day, I sat there for about... I, I put water in the tank because I know you're supposed to do that, otherwise you dry out your teeth and that's very bad dental. Sat there buried for about an hour, trying to learn to sleep with it. When I took it off, it was as though 40% of my lung function had returned. And I felt so good being able to breathe for a while. It gave me control of my lungs. I can see my breath. It's not that cold in here. I just wear a jacket because I'm fashionable. I'm not kidding here. <laughs> That's weird. Like, seriously weird. Am I that hot? It's a temperature variance, right? Anyway. <clears throat> See, that has been working really well. But there is something that I tried afterwards that worked even better. Singing. And I'm not kidding you here. This isn't a joke. I've been in dozens of musical groups over the years. I'm going to admit this to you, I'm kind of arrogant. I'm pretty arrogant. Very rarely have I ever practiced my music at home. That is a fact. Of the dozens of choirs I've been in, rarely have I ever in my life practiced my music at home. I only practice when we meet together. It's a bad thing to do, but it kept working. Oh, my ribs hurt just now. Like, suddenly... Anyway, 
I practiced warming up my vocals at home. And it says if another 30 to 40% of my lungs opened up I can, and I control, I gained control of even more of my airways and more of my breathing. I'm gonna practice singing at home a lot. I don't have to be on key. I'm not Josh Groban. I'm not making gold with my lips, but I'm making noise. I do warm ups, I try and think of songs that I know, very simple songs, songs within a specific octave. So I can try singing down here as often as I can. Because that seems to be the easiest as well as the most productive, I think. Open airways, lots of breathing. Here's the thing though, and I'll close out on this note. I still have those symptoms. I'm trying to learn to sleep with a CPAP. There's probably an online tutorial. It's difficult. I think I've been able to nap with it, but it's kind of difficult to tell. So I'm working on CPAP. Excellent. If I can sleep with that for a long period of time, I can get rid of a lot of the problem. The source of the problem. But the coughing, even though toned down a small bit, is still rather dominant at times. Sleep deprivation is not something that is going to be taken care of quickly. That could take up to a month to recover and then rehabilitate from. That's not a simple thing to get over. And I'll just have to work on doing whatever I can, eating lots of food. <coughs> Trying to get an exercise regime together. Regiment. Exercise workout program. Weights, walks. Exercise as much as I can to work on building up energy. So, that's the good and the bad. The bad news is I still have all of the core symptoms. Good news is I have more of a tool of combating them to a degree. I want to make sure you're up on that because I have been told I'm not complaining enough and that I've been told the fact that I've been sick for a while was new to many people around me. That is a very serious problem to have. People don't know you're sick. They're, you're, you're just hiding it. And I, was, I didn't know I was hiding it. It must have been unintentional, but I need to make sure I talk about my discomfort. My illness. Everything that's going wrong. I haven't been doing that enough. That's because I've just been taught not to complain. Because it doesn't help anything. You say, ow, I stubbed my toe. Oh, that's too bad. And my toe still hurts. It didn't help. I wanted to do the thing. Well, you can't. Complaining didn't help. That's not supposed to happen. Look, it happened. You solved nothing. I need to complain more.